Good evening, No Shames. Yeah. All right, so I haven't been here a while, but uh, I'm in. All, all right, so the other day, I'm at the grocery store, right? You know, buying groceries, obviously. Uh, and I'm getting ready to go, checking out. I'm in the line, in the line, you know, like a normal person, just waiting in line to, to get checked out. And this guy comes up behind me, also in line, right? Everything's good. Wrong. <laughs> this guy is right up on me. I'm like, what, what is this? You clearly see that there's like two to three feet of space between me and the other person. You know, like a normal person in line would leave. It's like, so I just have to think that it's just a little inappropriate that here in line at the grocery store, you are ass-fucking me! <laughs> I don't need that. Go back to the, the breakfast aisle, get some cereal or Pop-Tart or waffle or something, because you need to buy me breakfast after this. <laughs> <laughs> <That. laughs> uh, when I was younger, my friends, they like to play basketball. So, of course, I played, of course, I went out on the basketball court. And, uh, the thing is, as a short, white, nerdy kid, basketball is not really my area of specialty. Uh, now, if it was like comic book trivia, something like that, that would have been good. That would have been, 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 been a okay. And the thing is, I wasn't cool about it. I was the whiny, bitchy friend who was like, oh, guys, I don't even play basketball. Can't we play football? Oh, no, no. Baseball? No, no. Suck at that too. Uh, soccer, never played it. Sucked at it. Uh, hockey, probably would break something. So what, what, what can we do? Uh, and pretty much, uh, what would happen to me out on the court is, uh, I would be thinking, like, this, this is my inner monologue, like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm invisible, I'm invisible, I'm invisible, please, oh god, who, wait, who's, who's my guy again? Where's the ball? Oh god, I have the ball! I have the ball! Why do I have the ball? Oh god, what am I gonna, oh good, I don't have the ball anymore, good, all right, not a problem, oh god, that's not my guy, oh well. Uh, you know how, uh, you know someone, uh, you lie to spare their feelings, like they'll say something, or they'll ask you a question, looking for an honest answer, but you have to lie because, you know, you gotta, you gotta make them feel better. And uh, generally, the closer you are to someone, the bigger the lies you're willing to tell. So, as a kid, again, I, I had a rough childhood. Um, being, being the young, nerdy, white, geeky kid that I was, I was, I was like feeling really bad one day, you know, about myself, because you know, that's just what you do if, if you're like that. Well, if, that's what I did anyway. Uh, and so my mom was like, well, she, she sat me down. She looked me like straight in the glasses and said, aw, Casey, you're not that much of a loser. And I'm like, wow. Really, really set the bar high on that one, Mom. Uh, oh, the other day, uh, a couple of nights ago, I had a dream. And it was a wet dream. And uh, so, in this dream, <laughs> so, in this dream, in this wet dream, in this wet dream, I'm going to keep going, in this wet dream, wet dream, wet dream, wet dream, uh, I was, uh, I was masturbating. <laughs> So, I woke up, and I was like, God damn it, are you kidding me? And like, I'm already, I'm already pissed off, because when you wake up from a wet dream, it's like, it's good for a little bit, but then you're like, oh, God, oh there's a mess, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, the thing is, and then, then I got like really, really depressed, because I thought about it, and I was like, oh my God, I can't even get laid in my dreams. <laughs> 